guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back in this apartment where I made over a few rooms already. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. And I'm gonna start working on the stairway area and I'm also gonna paint um, the walls upstairs. Yesterday I already prepped the walls. I filled in the holes and cracks and everything so I can start painting today. I'm not gonna do such a crazy transformation here. It's just a stairway area. We just wanna make it a little bit nicer because we have white walls at the moment, nothing exciting. But I always say this, when you paint your walls, that can make a huge difference. Paint can do wonders. So I still wanted to share this transformation with you guys. So if you wanna see how I turn this space into this, then keep on watching. In this space where there are no windows, it tends to get quite dark, especially when the upstairs doors are closed. To address this, the goal was to maintain a light color palette while adding more visual interest. To achieve this, we decided to work with three different colors. On the ceiling and the top portion of the walls, we opted for an off-white shade called Shadow White by Ferro & Ball. It has a creamy undertone and it's a lot nicer and warmer. For the bottom portion of the walls, we chose Wear the Tear also by Ferro & Ball. And finally, for the baseboard and the door frames, we selected Sage Green by Little Green to bring some contrast. After painting the walls with the white color, next step was to apply trim to further separate the different colors. This not only creates a more upscale look, but also enhances the visual appeal. Using a laser level, I determined the placement of the trims and marked it on the walls. Then I cut the trims to size with a hand saw and used the strong adhesive called No More Nails to attach them. To ensure the trims stayed in place while the glue dried, I used some painter's tape. Although not necessary, a brand nailer could also be used for this task. To achieve a polished finish, I carefully caulked around the trims to hide any gaps. Then I proceeded to apply the beautiful green color to the lower portion of the walls. Although not shown in this video, they will probably create a gallery wall with family photos, which would further enhance the space. And finally, I applied the dark green color. As a creative touch, I upcycled this red lampshade by using truth rope and hot glue to create a new shade. This technique was shared in a previous video, allowing for the reuse of the lampshade and adding a unique element to the space. Let's take a moment to compare what the space looked like before and how it appears now. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.